Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Mouse Lady here and welcome to yet another episode of Small Handed Edition. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Vaxi Outset AX in matte black and I'll be going over what I think about the mouse and if I think it is worth your money. So with that being said, let's talk mice. So before we get into my overall thoughts and experiences with the Outset AX, I'll quickly go over the specs and the changes that were done to improve on the mouse. Keep in mind that I'll be reviewing the matte version of the Outset AX and not the white glossy version in today's video. So without wasting any time, Vaxi's Outset AX comes competitively priced at 60 US dollars, so it's the same price as the MP01, which is very nice to see. On my scale, the Outset AX comes in at anywhere between 78 to 80 grams-ish with some cable, and on the Vaxi website, they say it weighs 76 grams without any cable. As far as features go, it's pretty similar to the MP01 and still houses a 3389 sensor, which is of course top of the line. It's also still using the Huano 60G switches, which sound and feel amazing in my opinion, and of course later in the video you will get a sound test. You will also still have your three buttons on the bottom of the mouse where you can adjust your DPI in steps of 400, 800, 1600, or 3200. Your polling rate button to adjust it from 125, 500, or 1000. And your click latency button that you can adjust to 2, 4, or 8 milliseconds. It's unfortunately still using the same thick and stiff cable that was on the NP01, but they did raise the stress relief to prevent any cable drag, which is always nice to see. They're still using pure PTFE mouse feet like on the MP01, but they now use the 0.6 millimeter thick feet on the mouse instead of the 0.45 millimeter feet that they had on the MP01 that were just way too thin. But unfortunately, they do not include an extra set of feet in the box, which hopefully in the future they start doing. They also updated the matte coating to actually feel more matte this time around, whereas on the MP01, the matte coating almost felt like glossy pretty much, so that's always nice to see. More on the coating later in the video though. The Outset AX is going to be an ergo-shaped mouse aimed at people who tilt grip and is essentially a shorter and wider EC2 with dimensions of 117mm long, 59mm at the grip, 65mm at the rear, and a height of 43mm at its tallest point. Looking at the Outset AX and the MP01 side by side, you can also notice some small changes such as the scroll wheel being more recessed on the Outset AX, and Mouse 1 and 2 have more of a gap underneath of them. You also no longer get a logo on the rear of the mouse, and can very clearly see the differences in matte coating looking at them both side by side. So now moving on to how the mouse fits my hand and grip style and my overall experiences with the Outset AX. Alright, so now getting into what makes my reviews the small handed edition reviews. I'll be honest, uh, at first I really didn't like the mouse because I was spending all of my time trying to figure out how to properly hold it and it was really making my performance in game suffer because of that. So for those that don't know, this mouse is aimed at tilt grippers. So once I was able to finally find a grip on it where I tilted my hand, it immediately felt very comfortable and it wasn't too big or too wide for me if I held it this way. I had perfect access to both side buttons as well as the scroll wheel and my fingers were in a nice spot on mouse one and two. However, if I held it the way that I was holding it before I tilted, I could not reach the scroll wheel without straining as well as the front side button, so take what you will from that information depending on your hand size and grip style. As long as I slightly tilted my hand to the left, I was able to pincer claw it, relax claw it, or even palm it, but I normally don't palm it unless I'm just browsing the internet. My hands were too small to fingertip grip this. So overall, it fits my hands and grip style once I tilted my hand, and this mouse pretty much invites you to tilt grip it naturally, since that's what it's aimed at. So yes, I was able to grip this comfortably and perform decent with it with my hand size, so now we will get on to my overall experiences with the mouse. So getting into my negative experiences with the mouse, I can't even lie, besides this one major issue, I really had to nitpick to find things that bothered me about this mouse. So this one issue that I'm about to tell you guys about, I simply just could not ignore and I wanted to bring it up just in case it happens to anybody else 
because this isn't a, a very common issue, uh, to my knowledge. So the issue that I'm talking about also happens to the MP01, and obviously as well as the Outset AX, where if you're using a cloth pad and there's a lot of static being generated, the static will actually make your sensor just freeze up. This happened to me three times, and I didn't even know this was an issue until days before I got the mouse, when I saw somebody on Reddit talking about their MP01, being unusable because of this issue. This person also stated that this happens on the B-series Zowie mice. What pretty much happens, or at least for me, is I'd make a really fast flick in-game and the cursor would just stop moving, but all of the buttons would still work. Out of all the pads that I tested the Outset AX on to try to get this issue to replicate, it only happened on my Artisan Zero Soft. However, there is some good news to this issue and there is an unofficial fix for this that a Reddit user did share with me, where you just pretty much unplug your mouse and then hold down your scroll wheel and your front side button. And while holding those two buttons down, you plug the mouse back in and all of the lights on the bottom of the mouse will begin flashing. After I did this unofficial fix, I haven't had it happen since, and it was the only mouse that I've used for the last week and a half, and I used primarily the Zero just to test if it actually had been fixed, and I can confirm that for me personally, this fix, at least for now, did work. I really wanted to be sure to mention this in my video since it did happen to me, and it doesn't seem to be a very well-known or common issue, so I really wanted to bring this up in my video. I'm not sure what Vaxi could do to fix this, but this is definitely a vital issue and the mouse would have been unusable for me if I didn't get the unofficial fix from somebody on Reddit. Shout out to them, they didn't reply to my message for me to actually share their username in this video, so I will be blurring it out. Moving on, however, one thing I was hoping they would have changed on the Outset AX was the cable but sadly they did not, and it's still the same thick, heavy, and stiff cable that was used on the NP-01. In my experience, even in a bungee, I could still feel it unless I had almost no slack on the cable. And then if you want to put an aftermarket paracord on this mouse, you have these screws that require a triangle bit to take off, and according to Vaxi, this was to discourage people from opening their mouse, which is just a huge pain in the ass if you want to put an aftermarket paracord on and you don't have the proper bits. Then if you did want to paracord it, Vaxi does not include an extra set of feet in the box or grips or anything like that, which is really unfortunate. I would have been happy with another set of feet. I really don't even care about the grips, but extra feet being included is almost a standard now, I feel like, so I would really love to see Vaxi change this in the future. This one isn't really a problem for me, but something that I actually really wanted to mention. The scroll wheel is still that Zowie-esque sound and feeling scroll wheel, which I know bothers some people. The scroll wheel is also a little difficult to depress on my copy, so I also wanted to mention that as well. They kept mouse 1 and 2 a different texture from the rest of the mouse again as well, which for me, I'm not able to get a good grip on the textures and my fingers do start to become really sweaty. So that is also something that I wanted to mention. I really just don't understand why they wouldn't just make the entire mouse the same texture, but maybe they have their reasons, who knows? While on the topic of mouse one and two, I mentioned them having a bigger gap underneath in comparison to the MP01. So naturally, my mouse 1 and 2 have post travel, whereas my MP01 had almost no post travel whatsoever. Mouse 1 and 2 on my copy also had quite a bit of side play and almost made the buttons feel cheap and super fragile, like they'd snap in half while moving them just to test it out for the review. To be fair though, this didn't affect me in game whatsoever, but I definitely wanted to mention this. And the last thing I wanted to mention before I get into the things that I loved about the mouse is the updated matte coating seems to really attract fingerprints, more so when your hands are sweaty. They do still attract them, even if your hands are dry, but it really intensifies when your hands get sweaty, which I know will definitely bother some people, but that's nothing that a microfiber cloth couldn't fix. So that's really all I have to say about my negative experiences with the mouse. Now I'm gonna tell you the things that I really enjoyed about the mouse before closing out this review. So on a much lighter note before wrapping up the review, I did wanna give Vaxi some praise on this mouse 
because overall I really fell in love with this mouse. I do still prefer the MP01 over this mouse, but this is still an excellent mouse and besides the MP01, this is probably my favorite ergo shape right now. I'm one who will always go for shape over anything else and this shape is just amazing once you find the proper grip on it. It fills out my palm so nicely and I absolutely love the curve on the right side that hugs my ring and my pinky finger when I grip the mouse, giving me an excellent grip on the mouse when gaming or even just browsing the internet. While on the topic of good grip, another thing I wanted to talk about was the updated matte coating they did on the Outset AX. This updated coating is incredible, fingerprints aside. When I grip the mouse, my hand stays in place no matter what. Sweat isn't an issue at all with this updated coating and is coming from somebody with very sweaty hands. This coating gets a 10 out of 10 from me personally. They definitely got the coating right on this one. One of my favorite things about this mouse though has got to be the clicks, side buttons included. They just sound so crisp and tactile and are more audible than the NP01 clicks on my copy. The side buttons are also amazing and hardly have any pre-travel but do have a little bit of post-travel on my copy. So here's a quick sound test for you guys comparing them both. I never had issues accidentally pressing them and are in a really good spot for me, which usually isn't the case at all for me with mice, so this was really nice for me personally. I also noticed my scroll wheel was tighter compared to my MP01, which I personally prefer since I use this mouse just for gaming obviously, and I do use my scroll wheel to change weapons, so I didn't have any over scrolls using it, and I really like it being recessed like this too. Baxi also seemed to listen to our concerns with the thin stock feet that they used on the NP01, which were 0.45 millimeters thick and are now using 0.6 millimeter thick feet, which is amazing to see as well. I didn't have any issues with the glide on the feet at all, but I will be replacing them with core pads after I get a paracord because that's just pretty much my routine now. I put core pads on pretty much all of my mice. Lastly, I'll just commend Vaxi on focusing more on their mouse shapes instead of trying to make extremely lightweight mice with a bunch of holes and just calling it a day. You can really tell with both of their mice how much effort and thought went into it, and I love both mice and plan on getting glossy versions for both at some point just to try out. So that's about all I have to say regarding the Outset AX guys. Sorry again for the long video. If you watched it this far, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe if you aren't already. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.